Are you all right, Miles? Oh, hey, Mr. Blueberry. Yes, everything is fine. I guess. It doesn't seem fine. It is just that Peter and I were supposed to hang out today. We were going to eat some ice cream while looking at the ocean. And he is late. Maybe he got caught up in something? It isn't the first time. He always cancels last minute. He is too preoccupied with MJ or being Spider-Man to have any time for me. He is an adult. He is bound to be very busy. That is just a part of life. One day you'll understand. I know, but still, it is pretty frustrating. I know. How about I grant you a wish to help with that? What? You can grant wishes? Of course, in fact, it is my motto. Granting wishes to unholy bitches. And you are in fact a bitch. Why didn't you tell me? He never asked. Oh, so I was supposed to ask a talking rat if he could grant wishes? Indeed. Don't make me shazam your ass. Do you want your wish or not? Okay, okay. Yes, I want it. Please. Then let us begin the ceremony at once. What are you waiting for? Do it. Is this really necessary? If you want the ritual to work, yes. Ah, I, Miles Morales, am in fact a little bitch. I didn't choose this title for This Is How I Was Born. But Mr. Blueberry's mercy has shined upon me, and now I may be cured of my bitchiness. Amen. Good. Now for the last step. Mr. Blueberry is the coolest and most awesome rat of all time. Even cooler than the Rat Master of the Ninja Turtles, which name I don't even remember because he is so insignificant. Esto me va a hacer algo mi hablo más que Danis den Mokora. Hacer algo mi hablo más que Danis den Mokora. Más que Danis den Mokora. Is it done? I don't know. Maybe. What? What happened? He woke up! Does he have a morning wood? I am just curious. For some reason I don't like this, Peter. Who are you guys? We are Peters from another universe. Wait, you are not the same as us. You are not a Peter. Who are you? Come on, guys. Don't gang up on him. Not everyone likes it. I am Miles. I am your partner in crime. I mean, in heroism. I am your partner in heroism. Wait, so there are two Spider-Man in this world? Yes, is that not normal? No. Well, in my world there are four Spider-Men, including me. So I don't think it is that out of the ordinary. Wait for real? Are you serious? Yes, they are a huge help. Crime has dropped so much that we barely have to fight anymore, we mostly just hang out. Sometimes it gets kind of weird though. Why? Because I'm the only guy in the group. What? You are surrounded by girls? Wait, so there are no dudes? Lamey. Why is it lame? Yes, they are all beautiful and powerful women. Sometimes a man just wants to be around other men. Preferably if they have a lot of muscle. Why aren't you saying no homo? That way they can better protect you. I'm just gonna ignore this too. Hey, Peter. Yes? What? What's up? Not you. I'm talking to the one surrounded by girls. And you are not even a Peter. Why did you even answer? I just wanted to be part of the group. God, I'm gonna get a headache. So you wanted to speak with me? Yes. Tell me more about this Spider-Women companions of yours. I think it is more important to find out how we got here first and how we can return home. Hey, is there something wrong with you? You are always making this weird signs. I think he may be mute. A mute Spider-Man, that's interesting. That should get us some ESG points. It seems like someone is being lazy, but why is he mute? Did something big and long damage his vocal cords? If so, then I recommend drinking some cough syrup. It always works for me. Please say no, homo. So you are mute. Don't know how it took us this long to figure out. To be fair, we aren't the world's greatest detective. We are just the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Um, hey, Peters? Yes, Miles? I think it is my fault that you guys ended up in this universe. I'm sorry. How so? Well, my Peter has been kind of forgetting about me. I told this to a talking rat named Mr. Blueberry, and he took pity on me and decided to grant me a wish. The wish was supposed to make it so my Peter would hang out with me more often, but instead, it brought you all here. Miles, 
Is Mr. Blueberry here with us right now? What? No, I don't know where he is. Oh, hey, Mr. Blueberry, Miles has told us so much about you. Wait, what? No. You guys think I'm crazy. Mr. Blueberry is real. Mr. Blueberry is real. Calm down, Miles. Two Spider-Men with two different disabilities. We are going to be rich. How can I calm down when you all think I'm crazy? Mr. Blueberry, can you help us go back home? You are not crazy, Miles. Thank you, Pe You are just special. I'm not crazy, and I'm not special. Miles, I am normally the one who receives the spankings, but this time, I'm willing to make the sacrifice and be the one to give them if you don't calm down. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. Please don't touch my butt. Good. Um, did any of you get that? Nope. We are Spider-Men. We don't have time to learn sign language. I do. I have a lot of free time on my hands. So what did he say? He said that we don't really have a lead as to how we got here, so we might as well play along with Miles' story. It is not like we have anything better to do. So let's find this magical rat. Mr. Blueberry. Excuse me? His name is Mr. Blueberry. Right. So, we should look for this Mr. Blueberry and see if he can return us home. Thank you, Peter. You are welcome. Not you, the mute one. Sorry for being late, my Padawan. I was watching Dune Part 2. Such an amazing movie. I don't remember smoking any weed today. Or maybe I don't remember because I smoked so much of it. You are not high, Pete. So I'm guessing this is your, Peter. Damn, my butt looks good in that suit. Thanks, at least someone noticed. So this Peter is a drug user. It doesn't surprise me. Dude, it is called comedy. Maybe you should try it sometime. Ooh, a mute version of me? That should get us some ESG points. That's what I said! Great minds think alike. <laughs> um, why are they laughing? I don't know, let's just wait until they finish. Hey Pete. What? 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 I'm talking to my Pete. This is getting confusing. Are you not curious at all as to how there are so many versions of you? Not really. I'm at the point in my life where nothing really surprises me anymore. Except injustice! Excuse me, Miles is Peter. Can we talk? Oh? A Peter with some manners? That's nice. What is that supposed to mean? Shut up, bitch. I wanted to say that I admire your courage in having a partner with disabilities. When I get back home, I'll find one for myself as well. I don't know about your universe, but at least here, being black isn't a disability. What? Miles is black? BBC! OMG, what a twist. Was that not what you were referring to, fellow Peter? No, that wasn't it. He said he was talking to some magical rat earlier. Oh, Mr. Blueberry. Yeah, I know him. He is a good rat. Sometimes we hang out. Wait, you hang out with Mr. Blueberry and not with me? So the magical talking rat is real cool. I still can't believe you are black. Dude, we are past that topic already. I know, but it doesn't bother any of you that he is black? You are sounding awfully racist there, Peter. Which Peter are you talking about? The only one saying racist things. Is that not obvious? I'm getting pretty confused as well. Ah, let's solve this issue now before any more misunderstandings. Miles, keep an eye on them while I look for some pen and paper. Yes, sir. I'm back! You sure took a while? Sorry, I was hungry and ate something on the way. Where's the pen and paper? I'm back! Here's what we'll do. Depending on a trait of yours, I will use it to make you an ID. That way, we can better identify each other. Let's start with you. This one is pretty easy. From now on, you will be known as Mute Peter. Everyone agrees? Agree. Makes sense. Yes. I couldn't have come up with a better name. It seems he likes it. No, he doesn't. Now your turn. Me? Yes, you. Guys, any recommendations? Um, Pete? Yes, Miles? That Peter often says very sus things. Say no more. You will now be known as Gay Peter. Understandable choice. I'm glad at least someone pointed it out. Ha 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 I'm not gay, guys. What makes you think that? The things you say, the way you act, everything about you screams I am gay. Well, I'm not. I'm as straight as a bullet. And I penetrate everything I see like a bullet. But I gotta be careful because bullets can penetrate me as well. That settles it then? Ah, for the last time, I'm not gay. 
I have been dating MJ for years and we are about to get married. I do admit that I fantasize about her being a man sometimes, but don't we all? I have some reflecting to do when I get back home. Who wants to be next? Could I be next? Sure. Anyone got ideas for this one? Hmm, I don't know. He seems cool, unlike the rest. Dude, we are right here. I'm not gonna lie, that kinda hurt. Not you mute, Peter. You are all right. Tell me about yourself, Peter. We need to know more about you. Well, the others know a bit about me already. In my world, there are four Spider-Man in total. But other than me, they are all women. Interesting. I have been married to MJ for a few years now, and once a month we make a family gathering at Uncle Ben's house. Wait, Uncle Ben? Is Uncle still alive? Um, yes. Why? Because he hasn't died yet? So your uncle is still alive in that universe? That's nice. Yes, Uncle Ben and Aunt May are both alive and well. Aunt May is still alive too? She is alive in my universe as well. In mine too. So she is dead only in mine. That's not fair. Sorry about your loss, guys. But hey, at least you still have your parents, right? Oh, crap. So you are saying that in your universe, you are surrounded by spider women. Uncle Ben and Aunt May are still alive, and both our parents are still around? And GTA 7 came out two weeks ago. So, after some discussion, we have all agreed that this Peter will now be known as Perfect Peter, for he is the version we all wish we were. Is this what they call suffering from success? Now for the last one. Finally my turn. I wonder what it will be. Racist Peter, everyone agrees? Yep. Agreed. He didn't even try to hide it. Come on guys, it was just a misunderstanding. I'm, I'm not racist, I just don't like black people. That is what being racist is, dumbass. It is? Then yeah, okay, I'm racist. Being openly racist in 2024, I respect that. We are finally done. It took longer than I thought. <sighs> what about you? Me? Yes, it is only fair. If we need an ID, then so do you. Very well, how about normal Peter? Wow, how dare you? Not cool, man, not cool. What's wrong? Are you implying that none of us is normal? Yes. You asshole! Then you guys choose for me. I like that idea. After much discussion, we have finally settled on a name for you. Peter Pan! A Peter Pan that can't fly, you freaking loser! Miles, how could you? What? Why did you tell them that I hate being called Peter Pan? I didn't. Then how did they find out? They are you, Peter Pan. So I'm sure they already knew. Oh, right. Now we can finally start talking about how we can get back home. Um, could I also get one? Sure, buddy. Yes, now we all look like a team. Sadly, we do. My ID is touching my nipple. Feels nice. It is nice having an all-male team for once. Can we finally go back to the topic at hand of finding Mr. Blueberry? I don't know if it's relevant, but that rat has been staring at us for a while now. Mr. Blueberry? Wait, you can talk! I thought you were mute. My ESG points, no! Crap, I forgot. I got you now, Mr. Blueberry. Dude, I'm not even running away. I was just enjoying the show. You won't escape! Miles, you are gripping me a little too hard. <laughs> that's what he said. Wait, no, that's not how it goes. We went from having two people with disabilities down to having none. All the money we could have made, it is all gone now. Nice catch, Miles. Don't let him go. Again, I'm not running away, guys. And Miles, it is starting to hurt. Liar, you are just trying to trick me. So the talking rat was real all along. Are we gonna pretend you didn't just talk? Fine with me. That's right. If we pretend that you never talked, maybe we can still get some ESG points. Nice job, racist Peter. Return these Peters to their universes. Also, I lied to you earlier. The Ninja Turtles master is much better and cooler than you. Oh, you have done it now, bitch. Esto me va a hacer algo, mi aplo más gadanis den mokora. Esto me va a hacer algo, mi aplo más gadanis den mokora. Esto me va a hacer algo, mi aplo más gadanis den mokora. What the hell?